They are little animals, but they can wreak havoc on flights at the Sunport. Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain explains why prairie dogs remain an ongoing problem for airport officials. Four years ago, Albuquerque's Sunport had a major wildlife issue on its hands. Tens of thousands of prairie dogs were digging holes near the runways. At the time, there was a mass extermination to get rid of the animals. But today, the prairie dog problem lingers. Basically, only needing to treat areas when we see kind of some, some prairie dogs pop up. To keep the prairie dog population under control, Sunport officials say tablets of poison are dropped into their burrows. It's some tablets that basically turn into a gas, and, 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 and we use those sorts of lethal controls to, to take care of them. Sunport spokesman Dan Harone tells me the prairie dogs themselves are not the problem. It's the fact they attract birds of prey and coyotes. If those larger animals are hit by a plane, their bodies can be sucked into the engine, and that could mean disaster. For now, Harone says the Federal Aviation Administration is pleased with how the Sunport is taking care of the prairie dogs. It's been a, a, very, a very sensitive subject, uh, but, you know, safety is our number one priority. He says the extermination will be an ongoing process for years to come. Laura Terrain, KOAT Action 7 News. The other issue with the prairie dogs is they build their holes in the safety areas. In the case of an emergency, vehicles may not be able to get to a plane because of the small pits.